Hello and welcome to another video and in today's video I want to talk about the Tarion camera backpack. Now this backpack is my new purchase, this is the one I'm going to be using for the foreseeable future and I'm going to go over some of the details with you of what I liked about it. There is nothing I didn't like about it so that's a bonus straight away, you don't even have to watch the rest of the video, you can see that it's perfect, go and buy it. So this is the Tarion camera backpack and it comes with a second parent bag. It has 25 litres storage capacity. So the backpack itself is made up of a black nylon. It's anti-tear and it also is water resistant. So it's not waterproof, but it will stop the rain getting in for at least a short period of time. It does come with an extra hood, which you can put over the top of it to make it completely waterproof. So that is obviously subject to you taking out the bag and putting it on. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the front pouch at the bottom. So what I like about this is it does come with two clips. Both clips uh, will hold this pouch if the zip fails. Great little compartment. Storage. I like the way these flaps overlap so the, the water resistance will run over this rather than through the gaps of the zips which is a nice little touch. And inside you've got a parent bag. So this is the parent bag as they call it, which is same style as the, um, as the main bag, orange and black. It's got the same zippers, which are quite cool. All matching, nice little zip to go around. And then when you open this up, you can see you've got space in there for a camera body, maybe couple of lenses you could probably squeeze in there or a lens and a couple of other bits you've also got at the top little pouches up here which you can store batteries or memory cards or whatever you want to store in there uh, there's no other there's no other storage spaces on this but it does have the nice waist strap that you can be nice and comfortable you've got a nice clip same sort of feet as on the original bag I'm gonna say no side pockets it's just literally a small little carry-on but it does fit nicely inside that compartment okay so this is how I've got mine packed at the moment I'm sure this will change I'm sure I'm going to change this in the future so down the side here down in this side compartment you've got the waterproof housing a waterproof cover. I've got a couple of uh, bottles of water in there for when I'm going on hikes. I've got a DJI uh, Mavic 2 Pro controller, two batteries, two Mavic batteries. I've got a 70 to 200 lens and I've got the Mavic 2 itself, Mavic 2 Pro in the bottom there and that's that's what I carry in my compartment I will say these clips don't feel the hardest wearing they, they could be a little bit flimsy but um, we'll see how they go the adjustable straps on there as well I'm just going to keep it nice and secure so depending on what you've got in there you can loosen them have it fill out a little bit more so the next compartment is this front pouch here. And now this is a hard case pouch. So this is quite useful for storing valuables in. So if you can mobile phone could go in here perhaps. Um, I've got a set of glasses in here. And when I'm out, I will store my sunglasses in here as well. And at the moment I've got, just got a first aid kit just to fill it out, got some pills, got a torch, that's all I've got in there at the moment, you've got space in there for pens or if you want to put a, one of the little lens dusters in there, the ones with the little bristles on, that will probably fit in there as well, um, so that's that one, okay so in the top compartment you've got space for anything you want. I've got some filters in there. 
you got the zip, zip compartment on the front. a netting that you could keep maybe a waterproof coat in there or some other bits for the main compartment at the top you've got the big big storage area and this has got a nice net there you can keep I think on the pictures in the in the listing it's got an iPad in there or something um, depending on how you want to pack this up and whatnot this is just done so I can show you what you can get in here I've got 70 to 200 lens in there got a whatever that is 18 to 55 intervalometer and 100 mil macro along with the camera body and the 17 to 40 on that as well and then you've got the little space underneath so if you want to put anything under there At the back you've got a pouch that can keep some batteries in. Behind that you've got a 15.6 inch laptop pouch which you can keep anything you like in. A couple of zip compartments on the side which keeps this bit up so when you do need access just to this top bit everything else isn't coming out. You've also got space for whatever you want to put in there. This top piece here has got a zip on the inside, so another pouch to keep some stuff in. But I will say, the more you put in this front pouch, this will puff out, so the less room you've got on the inside. So depending on, depending on your priorities, where you need to access, when you want more stuff in the front or whether you want more stuff at the back, um, might depend on how you pack this out. This bit, as you can see, you can zip up. So when you unzip it, you can just fold this top bit over, like so, and then you can access your camera from the top bit without having to undo the whole bag. I will say, it depends on how much you put in these front two compartments, will determine how well this side bit does up and undoes. Um, you pack them out quite there's quite a lot of stuff in there and if you pack it out quite thick this doesn't push up so well and the zip can get a little bit stuck so if you keep your zips at the top having these side straps done up will stop it fully falling open when you undo your zips so they'll only come down to the edge of these straps and you can access this whereas if you undo these straps on the side the whole thing can fall open so that's always something worth thinking about, is just keeping those straps strapped up. Even if you're not carrying a tripod on each side, just for that extra peace of mind. So on the side, you do have access to um, some straps and a little pouch. Put your tripod in here, tripod legs in here to keep it sturdy or put your tripod all the way down through and strap it up with this and then you've got a side strap here that can strap around your tripod that clips up and then you've got also on the side you've got access to the laptop compartment as I mentioned earlier which fits in there and then Again, on the other side, another tripod area, and you've also got this. You've also got this handy little foot pouch for the for the tripod to sit in in there, which tucks away nicely in there if you don't use it. Now, me personally, I don't use it. because I, I prefer the legs to go in here. And I think if you put them in that bottom pouch, it sits down lower than the actual base of the backpack. So when you put it on the floor, it's gonna, it, well, it's not gonna sit properly because of the tripod is lower than the backpack. So a second one of those, more clips on the side. So 
really great for taking two tripods or if you want a walking stick or a monopod or a couple of bottles of water anything you want to put in here just quite handy space just quickly looking at the bottom so you've got two plastic feet that will hold your bag off the floor so you've got a little bit they're not they're not the deepest so it's not gonna you don't be able to put it in a river I don't know why you'd want to okay so on the you've got a waist strap that goes around obviously your waist and clips up and then on that waist strap you've got a zip that you can keep um, any valuables in maybe you can keep your um, and keep some change in there for the car park maybe it's for some ice cream on your way around a little trek for a cup of tea or you can keep your car keys in there wherever you want to keep and there's one on both sides so you can keep something in one something in the other so for the back of the backpack you've got um, an adjustable height strap so you've got large medium and small and on the website it does say i think the model is like six foot six foot two and it's on the large setting but i find and i'm five foot nine i find the large setting is good for me and that goes on there but you do have plenty of options to change the height to whatever you want it to be some nice shoulder straps nice padding nice padding on the back with a breathable material straps are very well padded including the waist strap as well the waist strap's got some nice padding on it the top handle quite sturdy nice rubber it's going to take a bit of weight so on the shoulder straps here these are pull cords that you can pull to pull this in tighter so the straps will actually sit tighter to your body as you can see there you can see it's loosening it there and as you pull it it will pull it in tighter so that's quite handy to have and then also on the straps themselves you have two hooks that you can attach your camera to so if you want to go out just taking photos without the restriction of having to take stuff out your bag you can just hook your camera straight to your actual backpack so the one that i've got i prefer to have a quick release that i can get to um, this one's called a Kadimi, i believe um, camera belt clip and it goes on your waist on your belt or it goes on your actual backpack the whole thing comes apart and you can strap it to pretty much anything that will take it so i do have these carabiners they're a bit you can see that look and these go on my zips um, just because I like to have a bit of peace of mind that knowing that that's not going to completely undo when I'm walking because I have had before um, in the past I've had zips undo where they've come down the side of the uh, come down the side of the bag and I've not had anything touch wood fall out yet but a bit bit close for comfort so I purchased these ones so these ones are picked up I think it's 10 of various sizes so you got bigger ones of these again and the smaller ones for about four pound so a little bit of an investment worth keeping your stuff safe so one of the things I was quite impressed with was the little plastic covers on the bag nice little touch and you can just whack your finger in there just pull it around it's been a bit wet and cold and trying to grab hold of a zip sometimes the end of a zip is a bit you know fiddly with this you can just literally stick your finger in and get that open quick no messing around so i was impressed with that so overall i'm very happy with this bag hopefully it will serve me well for a few years yet let me know in the comments what you think of it and let me know what bags you use hopefully you found this video useful and if you did please do consider giving the video a thumbs up but really do appreciate it and it helps with the algorithm and i will catch you on the next one